Spain campaign and this my friends that we left it last time where we had a terrific fight here for Venice against the Austrians. The Austrians sent in a significant force here to try and wrestle Venice away from us but we held firm here my friends we did not buckle under the pressure and with that the aftermath of this battle is as thus the 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 remaining sort of forces here of that assault force from the Austrians are here in Triest here oh, look at this my friend look at the absolute force here this has been absolutely battered to hell here we've got a f this is the sort of remnants of the second force they brought in to help the first force try and wrestle it from us as you can see here, they, although it doesn't show them that they've took a severe beating, they really, really did. Now we can't actually see what the force has left here, but I can assure you it has taken severe damage here, this army. So we have managed to push away the first Austrian assault, but we must be vigilant, my friends. We must be ever vigilant, because not only do they have access through the powers here, through Austria, into Venetia here itself, but they could start to build up quite a number of forces here behind our lines, or to the, our flank, as it were and start moving down. Now, here is the crucial part. We are allies with France, so our, our, France is an ally of ours. As you can see, we, we together we have a very, very strong position here indeed, where they control northern Italy, we control southern Italy. Now, that is not a problem for us at all, as France is our sort of historical ally, and as thus we are going to support them within on their claims and hopefully they'll do the same for us but they are not at war with Austria now let's have a look at the diplomatic status here as you can see France allied with ourselves allied with New Spain and allied with Poland now as many of you notice they're allied with Spain and watch this let's have a look at this my friends they are not protected as ours anymore they are an independent nation they are therefore no longer part of the sort of Spanish a sphere of influence as it were they are now a completely separate nation now many of the council have been saying Mala you need to take sort of Texas you need to take the land that will bring New Spain into the Spanish fold now it looks like it looks like we have missed or I have missed that sort of sort of it, that window opportunity as it were now that is entirely on my on my shoulders that is entirely on my shoulders because I focused on sort of or we focused on Italy as it were and that was our sort of main push now we're trade partners with them, so we're still getting that um, that gold coming in from the New World, but it's not sort of going to be as prevalent as it was previously. And if we would attack New Spain, remember they are allies with France. Now, France is our ally. There's a chance that if we went to war with Spain, they might break their alliance. They might even join New Spain in the war against us. At the very least, France's relationship with us would plunge significantly to the point where we might have to push f more armies into sort of northern Italy as it were to try and hold off any push by the Spanish uh, by the French I beg your pardon but and this is where the but comes in my friends as you can see the Dutch are expanding massively here they've even captured Berlin and Dresden here two massive production capitals here a huge production center, massive economic hubs. So the f the Dutch are really, really, absolutely rampant here at the moment. And let's have a good look at how the Dutch are going in United Provinces. They're indifferent to us. We've got trade with them. They're allies with Britain. They're at war with Austria, and they're also at war with New Spain. The trade partners are ourselves, of course, Britain and Sweden, and the Mughal Empire. So they do have a quite a powerful trade sort of agreement with many of the major nations. But crucially, they're at war with Austria. Now, as you can see, they're starting now to encroach upon Prague. They're starting, if they move down here to sort of this, um, should we say, um, east or northeastern or s southeastern direction here, if they move down south from here, straight from Bresden, and start sort of as they leapfrog across, they could go to Prague, and ultimately Vienna would be in their sights. Now, with the pressure that the pr Austrians are facing here from the Austrians on this particular flank here, the flank of Strasbourg, Stuttgart, Prague, and this sort of axis here of Strasbourg, Stuttgart and Prague, this will give us the breathing space we need. They needed to try and take Venice off us, th so they got this almost this safe zone where the mountain range is protecting them here. They didn't manage the rest of that off us, but as you can see, we did take a frightful, really, really frightening am amount of casualties. As you can see, many of these regiments have lost 100 plus men. Some of the cavalry has been absolutely butchered here. We've lost a, a regiment itself in its entirety. 
uh, the general as well here took a massive massive hit as well and remember those of you who haven't been made general who've asked me made general in, in this campaign once we get a few more armies up and running my friends I can promise you all of those promotions will go through I absolutely assure you that happening here even the grenadiers here took a massive beating the second grenadiers they were the absolute backbone they're the vanguard of our defense and they took an absolute beating that was the scale of the fight here that was the f the significance of the force the Austrian centers they threw everything they had at us and we held here that's why we've had to move this particular force here in to sort of back that up here we've actually pulled it in from Rome so that is how desperate the situation was at one point for a moment we sort of teetered on the edge of the abyss there we're looking over the precipice there my friends into the abyss but we managed to hold only through the bravery there of our troops we've actually, we've actually brought this army up here we're going to cross the bridge here we're just going to we're going to leave this army here not only to hold this sort of this flank here where they can move through the pass here but also just in case they have anything else mustering here we can't see we've got a spy here within um, Austria itself here within Vienna sort of the Austrian region of Vienna outside Vienna here just to keep an eye on the movement of the Austrian troops here of course we've got the Dutch here operating independently of ourselves but with the same goal the same aim which is to destroy the Austrians Rome stands completely barren here of troops, so we have nothing here at all to defend, but we are upgrading as quickly as we possibly can. We're throwing all our money to get our infrastructure aboard, the, the sort of eco economics infrastructure up as well as you can see here. We're putting the wine estates here into great use as well, so if necessary we'll actually pull this army back. So what we're going to actually do here, I think, because this army can actually probably hold up very well here. We will move this army to outside Venice instead here <coughs> for a brief time. It'll be here whilst whilst the the garrison here of Venice gets itself back into full shape. As you can see, they do have quite a few, still a significant amount of troops available to them. They've got Transylvania still available, Croatia still available, and ultimately they've still got Venice and Prague available as well. But they are battling the Dutch here in the north. We've got an ally here to our west. And of course, we've still got the ports. Now, this army here in in Cro Corsica here took out a, f a real pounding, but it is not beyond our reach to actually get this army up and running here. We will then leave Corsica with this army, and we're going to send it into the New World. I think it's about time we start stretching our legs in the New World. We've got Portugal. Many of the council have said Mali should have removed Portugal in the first instance. We could actually still do that. We're allied with Portugal, so. I Backstabbing the Portuguese would be something that I would, wouldn't want to do unless it was absolutely necessary. As you can see, they're allied with ourselves. They're at war with New Spain and, the, of course, Barry. But I, I've oh, got that feeling in my bones that this army here they've got within ready for this navy here is probably going to be heading towards New Spain in the New World. If that happens, if they attack New Spain then we will <coughs> launch an attack against Portugal here, against Lisbon and take it now. Do they have any other land somewhere else? They don't at the moment. As you can see here, the Mughal Empire has completely taken its rightful place here as the sort of the kings of the rightful rulers as it were of India. So the Marathic Confederacy has been utterly crushed. Here we just got this sort of, we got the Dutch here in Ceylon I don't think the Dutch will be moving from Ceylon anytime soon, as you can see. In fact, they're probably digging in. They've pretty much upgraded this to full capacity here. And they're bringing, I imagine, quite a good income from here indeed. They've even got rice paddies here as well in Colombo. Now, let's have a quick brief look at the New World. As you can see, we do have Cuba. Again, still not able to repair this army fully. But to be honest with you, it is the cavalry regiment that needs fully replenishing here. And we do have, or we have sent a fleet, a significant portion of our fleet has been sent here to the New World, here into the Caribbean, um, to protect the sort of trade coming in out of here, because this trade here is pretty vital to us. You can see we've still got almost 5,000 coming in from New Spain into Spain itself, into our coffers. That is really, really important to us, it really is. But if the Portuguese attack New Spain, which is, looks like they, they're gearing up for some, something here, this this is an operation of some sort, some magnitude being pushed in here and to be honest with you they are they do have significant forces here but as you can see Lisbon itself is completely open we could probably smash into there, we don't have the forces available at the moment we do have a force here in Morocco which could do it at a, at a moment's notice but we're still trying to build up our own navy as well and many of you said Mala you need to get rid of the king, the king possibly might have to go and I think we might be erring on that side because 
As you can see, the king is an absolute buffoon. He is a total, total buffoon. Um, as you can see, uh, uh, this this really speaks for itself. I mean, this just speaks for itself here. He's 53, so he's getting on in age a bit. But knowing our luck, he'll probably live to about 140. So, if it comes to the crunch and he gets to a certain age and he's still there, he's still hanging on, then we might have to look at p possibly putting a revolution into place to strip this king here and bring in possibly a constitutional monarchy or even a full democracy and republic as it were. Um, I got plus two and a half percent ability so I did ask the council how we'd actually bring about that um, that change in government and it is if you increase the tax rate of the nobility to actually maximum and leave it there for a long time it sort of brings a nobility to the point of revolution they will overthrow effectively overthrow the king because they have the sort of the power to do it so if it comes to the crunch we will die but if he lasts longer he might not last much longer but as i said no one how lucky he'll probably live to about three or four hundred years old no one how luck so let's just wait and see let's play things by the year. our most important thing here to watch out for though is here austria we must remain vigilant here my friends we mustn't allow our sort of conquests or a possible conquest in the new world to overshadow what we've what we have created here we have created a sizable mediterranean sort of uh, empire here we really do control the vast majority of the lands here in and around the mediterranean or the, or the sort of central mediterranean as it were and indeed we even control the job world straits but we don't have the sort of necessary naval firepower to really enforce it yet but if things still go our way then we should be okay we've got 6081 coming in not brilliant as you can see but if we can just keep hold of Venice here and who knows if the Austrians begin to collapse because of Dutch pressure we might even earmark a strike into Vienna ourselves and take Austria for ourselves and that would be a crushing blow and it would be this army and this army here leading that punch because we do have some exception look I mean look at the veterancy of these units they are absolutely up there with some of the finest now as you can see we're starting to repair what we can here we just got one regiment here of ninth regiment of horse and also a couple more regiments we haven't been able to re replenish them all because of course money has been a little bit tight and also we've had to prioritize upgrading our uh, infrastructure and also our navies do need to be improved significantly and we are trying to do that let's have a research here hang on a minute why have we got Salamanca working on that when it should be working on new this is why you must always check what's going on here and why is Sevilla here researching government by consent minus only three turns I think it might be better Bologna here it's actually researching seed planting drill now that's going to be beneficial to us eventually. I think what we'll do is we'll put Salamanca. I think what we'll do is switch this around. We'll have Bologna here working on our. Well, I give. Oh my goodness me! We're definitely, definitely getting. Bologna is going to be working on new model drill, and here Salamanca is actually going to be working on seed planting drill. I think we we'll just switch the technology there around a bit. Sweden is that we're at peace with Sweden. Can we get any more? trade here. You have to excuse any noise in the background my friends because as you probably can hear it is somebody looking. Now the Crimean Carnate, let's just have a look. Nope, <coughs> so nobody else is interested in trade. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. Sweden is definitely not interested in, tr in trade at all. Nope. But they've got this ship here loitering about, or ships should I say. Anyway, let's end the turn here my friends. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what the Austrians do. This is the crucial area for us because we've really carved out quite a p empire here, especially Rome. I mean, look at the look at the, I mean, look at the inf income coming from here. Look at the economic power that Rome provides you. Massive. Let's end the turn. We must keep an eye on what's going up here on here with the Dutch and the Austrians. Now, nothing funny from you, Britain at all. Nothing funny at all, sir. If you wouldn't mind. France on the move but to where looks like they're removing potentially a pirate there or something similar ah look at this they're trying to gather their forces together now could this be an all-out assault or are they going to try and push the Dutch back remember the Dutch are absolutely key here <clears throat> and more troops moving to the east here for the Dutch Poland 
have not expanded as much as I thought they might have, but they do have Russia, Sweden, and I've left us alone, Louisiana, New Spain, of course, Persia. We want everything to remain calm here so we can just focus on what is important here. Portugal, opening up another trade line, Georgia. We just want things to stay stay settled at the moment. We need to build up our economy here. That is absolutely vital here. <coughs> you just stay away from us, Barbary states. Don't you don't you go pestering us. I think we've got peace with Barbary states. Um, it looks like they're going to head for Britain, possibly. And if that's the case, I don't have a problem with that particularly because they'll keep Britain on their toes. And maybe even France. Pirates. Ah, oh, look at that, you fiend, sir. That looks like going for the British as well here in the Bahamas. Now, I think... Oh, look at that. Excellent there, sir. Oh, 11,000. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Our fusiliers, our first fusiliers. We're going to build an army here that's going to crush anything in, that, in its path. And look at the potential here for upgrading. Absolutely wonderful here. But the first thing is first, I think it's probably best that we remove... What's the upgrade going to go? 774. Let's get those gentlemen up to full spec here. Now, I think we're going to remove the threat of this here. And... Yes, I think so, sir. So. Now, what is that ship? The Arana Negra. I think we'll take this ship into our fleet to bolster this fleet here. Thank you, sir. And <coughs> that's 600 here. And look at that. 5598. Five, five, I think we'll keep Port de Pat open. And repair these ships here as well. Got to keep things in order here. We've got to keep things in good order. We can't just be merely... We've got a lot of upgrading to do, a tremendous amount of upgrading to do here in our economy. I think that's what we've got to focus on as well, is getting that economy up and running. Now let's just make sure we reinforce this front here. And this army does need to be moved relatively quickly here. 2,247, we've got to invest in that there, but it's closed off a number of avenues here, upgrading. Eva's Cottage is 450. The wine estate is 875. My goodness me, that's a lot of money coming from the wine here. 700, 750. I think we'll invest. Need to get these farmlands up and running here as well. 2100, 450 here. I think the vineyards of Italy are going to bring in a massive amount of income for us. Yeah, I think we're going to bring this one into Rome, into, into, into work here. Anything else we need to upgrade or repair here? No, this army is still going to take a while to replenish. This army is going to be almost fully replenished as well here, which will be absolutely fantastic, which means this one can be then transported off here and brought into into here. I think we're going to probably strike and try and punch our way possibly into Vienna here. But they are trying to muster all their troops into one spot. It looks like... Oh my goodness me, look at that. Preston is under severe pressure here from the Dutch. Oh my goodness me. Dresden could fall here. We could see the, the slow decline here of Austria and that I don't have a problem with that at all, sir. Because they've given us nothing but problems. We have to get our economy up and running here at maximum capacity. We've got clearances here. I think we'll invest where we can in our economy. Now how is the religious Oh it's actually switched here to fifty seven Catholicism is excellent to see. Which means religious unrest should be, yes, it is quelled somewhat. Growth is starting to go up here as well, which is excellent. What about Madrid? Oh, growth is good here. 1.33%. Clamber for reform is 12. That's pretty high there. But we do need to get a proper army into Madrid as well. Yeah, we're starting to build an army here, but it's nothing near what we need. Let's have a look what's going on in the new world here. Anything happened now? New Spain is starting to grow very, very quickly here indeed. It is an independent nation now, so if we do attack it, we're going to have to deal with France's response to that. 
they may not like that, and they might even take the side of New Spain. So in other words, what we have to do is we have to get our economy up and running here so we can actually handle the p possibility of going to war with not only New Spain, but France as well, especially with these French forces here. I mean, look how powerful these French forces are. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That is quite extraordinary, that force there. Look at the guns they got available here. This is almost a full stack army here as well, even with Swiss Guards with double chevrons. Wow, and look at the army they got here. I mean, that even that fleet alone is quite scary. But that army in there as well is full stack. They could probably deal a massive amount of damage to the Dutch if they chose to, but quite clearly they're content for the Dutch to pretty much rampage through Central Europe here. And we are as well. If it brings the Austrians to its knees and it gives us the opportunity to strike into Vienna and possibly capture Vienna for ourselves, we will do it. If the Dutch move into Prague, we're going to punch a hole and try and capture Vienna for ourselves. If that means we've got to batter our way through these defences here, then so be it, my friends. We shall do it. And we shall do it with these two armies. This army here, and this army here. In the meantime, we shall also build up a second force here. I wonder if we can include these two fusiliers in this army. I think so, just to add a little bit of weight here, a little bit of depth to that attack. Now that, my friends, is an army up, but we don't have any guns here at all. This is purely... I think it'd probably be best if we did have guns, to be honest with you. I think we have to get ourselves some guns up and running here. We don't have... What do we, don't, we don't have the Great Arsenal yet. Why don't we have Great Arsenal yet? We do, but we haven't been able to build it yet. So I think we're going to invest next time, yes, in a Great Arsenal here in Rome. And get ourselves some of those guns, or even here in Vienna. Yes, or in the Great Arsenal here in, in Venice, I beg your pardon where we can actually start recruiting some proper howitzers, some proper foot artillery. Otherwise we're going to be swamped here. Right, let's end the turn here, my friends. Let's see what happens. Now look, they're pulling all forces back into Venice. Or, um, Vienna, I beg your pardon, I get those two mixed up, I do apologise. It looks like Britain is taking care of the Barbary states. France is indeed also dealing with the Barbary states. Where the places do they get those forces from then? Where do they get those armies for that army from then? They are now mustering all their forces to defend against a possible Dutch attack against them because the Dutch are starting to expand here quite rapidly. What a fight that will be! what a fight that will be. We shall not shirk our responsibility. Russia, who haven't been doing much to be honest with you. They've been very, very quiet here, the du the, uh, the Russians. Sweden, Louisiana, New Spain. Looks like it's increasing its, its outward mobility there with a few ships. 
Georgia. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, sir. Where are Georgia going? Barbary States, mm. who are getting absolutely pounded here by the French and the British. But as long as they're leaving us alone, we shall leave them alone. Until it serves our purpose. Don't you dare raid those lines, you fiends. Oh. Look at those pirates. They're an absolute menace, sir. And once again, we draw on our brave <laughs> naval forces here to deal with these fiends. And I think we'll add to the fleet here. I know we're adding to our overall cost, but... If we can draw in these new f these forces here, actually, 630 here, so that's increased quite a lot there. I'll actually leave them in the port here. And repair 205, which is excellent to see. Plus one to command when attacking. Ah, excellent central city, that was excellent to see there. We've got 10,141. Our trade income is very, very nice here. Now our tax income is also very good. That's because we've reduced the overall burden of tax. So the wealth is starting to increase here. Ideally, we always like to try and get the tax income to pay for the army and indeed trade to pay for the navy. But at the moment, other is paying for the navy, which means the majority of this trade income is actually ours to do as we wish. But we must also keep investing in our economy to really keep that going. Honest, excellent. Yes, we know about that. And we also know about the blockade there in Kingston. Now... What's going to give us the biggest return here? I think. Oh my goodness me! Look at that from the Iron Master, sir. And there as well. Oh, oh, sixteen hundred. I think we'll add to the regional wealth here of this Iron Iron Master's works here. That's a quite a heavy investment, but it's worth every single penny. Every single penny. Now we did say we're going to have a great arsenal here, which we're definitely going to do there. And that's probably best if we did also add some more wine estates here I think 1500 is a reasonable amount for that wine estate and this is force ready yet not yet but hopefully soon this this, this army here will be ready only 625 there and we can upgrade this eventually to governor's mansion but again we've got to prioritize quite heavily here what we do a 750 this port is not going to give us anything yet. We need the ports that are bringing in direct access. So that's port. Oh, wait a minute. This port could be upgraded here. Bring in, cre increase our income here. And also, is this one being upgraded? It has indeed, sir. We could upgrade this. But Ottoman Empire has been hit here because of the Barbary State here. But I think we're going to increase our trade port here. That means we haven't got anything to invest in in terms of our army but I think we'll also get a great estates here in the homeland here in Spain itself and then next turn we will invest in the army exclusively with 10,141 available to us because we've invested in the economy we are there finding that that balance that equilibrium between investing in the economy which will then ultimately pay for the army we could also invest in the Weaver's Cottage to really sort of really improve the regional wealth from here because as the wealth goes up here so will our ability to increase our troop strength but we have now got a great arsenal in production now that's going to give us 12 pound howitzers and also 12 pound foot artillery which is definitely what we're going to do here but then we're going to we're, we're going to reconfigure these armies oh excellent this army is now ready so actually what we'll do is we'll we'll disband the demi cannons and also put another howitzer regiment in here I think two how two howitzer regiments in this army we will then reconfigure this one the composition of this army will change drastically we will actually remove several several regiments probably the guerrillas um, two of the guerrillas will be gone and also the militia will be gone from this army we're going to we're going to put another cavalry in here and then the three remaining slots will be made out of artillery the composition has to be right here for the fight that's going to be coming here and as you can see, Austria have pulled back everything they've got. We don't need two spies here. What we are going to do, though, I think, is just go and take a look at the battlefield up here. Because Dresden here looks like it's t it did take... Well, it, it is taking damage, sir. We need to find out what the fight is going on here. 
because that could prove vital to what's going to happen to our decision making here. But again, our economy must win over here. We cannot, we cannot, my friends, in all good conscience here, sort of invest a massive amount in troops and not have our economy being able to do that. And also we must invest some more troops here in Spain, just in case. Portugal is okay with us at the moment. So what are Portugal are doing? They're very friendly at the moment, which is excellent. Sort of Poland, a lot of, actually all of them, apart from Sweden, 13 colonies. Let's have a look at the other trade with us here. No. Nope. Let's see if they will do trade with some technology we might give them. What if we give them plug bayonets and carbines? No, not interested. That's fine. <coughs> That's absolutely fine. We can take ourselves, we'd fend for ourselves here. Again, we're still waiting for this army here to be fully replenished. And actually we could re equip we could equip this army with some additional forces. I think two more cavalry regiments would definitely go, go a miss here, and also three cannon. We'll remove the guerrillas, and we'll also have three additional regiments here of artillery, and two additional cavalry units here as well. But you can see this is probably one of our most experienced armies here by far. I mean, check. I mean, look at this one here. This this 35th regiment here is what four chevrons. The same here as the 3rd Regiment, the Regiment de, Se de Sevilla. Wonderful there. We actually have moved. This navy here is not of any great depth. Actually, we should be repairing this winery as well, because they've clearly moved away from here. So this should be... and also this should be repaired, this weaver's cottage here. Which we definitely must make sure we do. I wonder if we move this army up. Not yet, no. I think... Gonna have to wait here. We get these repaired here. Quite clearly, the Austrians are pulling out of any potential attack f against us here. They're obviously gearing themselves up for a massive defence here of Vienna. Of Vienna. But if we can pull this off, it would be a coup de grace. It really would. Let's end the turn there. Excuse me, my friends. We'll have a beverage here of a cup of tea. Great Britain moving. Oh, moving against the Ottomans. Oh, well done, sir. Well done. And they're dealing it. Oh, wonderful. That'll free up our trade lines. Britain is doing its job well. That's a mighty fleet they got there. <coughs> but steering clear of France. Now, what is France doing that there for? Oh, look at this. They really are sending a lot. Wait a minute. Now they're beginning to reinforce their front lines here. Yes, indeed, sir. The Dutch are on the move. Where exactly are you going, sir? Russia. Again, not done much here at the moment. Sweden. Uh, New Spain expanding nicely. Portugal increasing. Wait a minute. And they're starting to increase their barracks as well. They've improved their barracks there. Georgia is being constantly. Ah, oh, the Barbary states are once again leave those trade lines alone. That is perilously close, perilously close to Britain, that is. Oh yes, government by consent. Morocco, excellent. Let's have a look at our research here. We've Why is Sevilla going down this road here? Fire by rank. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh no, that'll give us Curacao guards. We definitely want to remain getting the diamond formation. Those guards will be exemplary, sir. Look at that, they are wonderful. Ah, Cuba. Excellent, I think we'll get ourselves... How is the food situation here? Food is excellent. So I think we'll have another trade port here. Gonna get as much income as we possibly can from these isles. It might even open up additional trade lines for us. 4520 oh here. So trade is steadily increasing here. We've got these 
pirates I think we need to also move in against the pirate islands I think as well I think that was the initial thing of what this army was here was going to do I think this oh it's ready sir this army here is definitely geared towards fighting against the pirates but at the moment we've got to focus on what is important here and that is Austria now Austria is absolutely throwing everything it can here we need to see what the war is going on here with them That is huge. Good grief. Look at that Dutch force. That is exemplary, sir. But it doesn't look like the, the Austrians are going to give up Prague without a fight. And indeed Dresden, but mind you, Dresden is under a great amount of pressure here. Hungarian guard, Grenadier guards, or Hungarian Grenadiers were a fantastic regiment there. Can they hold out here against what is a substantial Dutch force? And Saxony is quite clearly under, the majority of it is under Dutch control here. They've even got, oh, Netherlands Mar Mariner Corps. Wow. That is some absolutely wonderful units here. The Dutch are throwing everything they can. If they break Dresden, then Prague is ripe for the taking there from them. And if that happens, then Vent. Vienna will be next, and we can't miss our opportunity here. Right, the first thing we need to do is also repair what is rightfully ours, bring the economy up to full. 10, 3, 8, 9. Trade has gone up, and also his tax income has also gone up, which is fantastic to see. Naval board, which are oh, Spanish infantry de, de Marina here with, with a chevron. But we need to invest in our military now. Oh gosh, but mind you, we do also have this college here which is going to increase our research here but I think we need we definitely need to increase here the iron works and let's increase <coughs> we have to adjust the composition of our forces here as well Military Academy is almost ready, which means we're going to be able to get, if I'm not mistaken, indeed, Curiseers. So, what we will actually do is we'll invest, again, I did say we would invest in, in the military this time around, but no, we will wait for the Academy, this Military Academy, to be finished on one more turn. Then we're going to really throw a lot of money at the military here. Heavy Cavalry, um, the full kit and caboodle here. We've got Military Academy here, so actually we can, oh, wait a minute, sir. And infrastructure here, metal roads, of course. We also need infrastructure to be increased here as well, so I think it's probably if we also get... Oh, we've got so many different things to consider here. We've got uh, so much to do. Sp oh, my goodness me, sir. <gasps> Are you jests, sir? Surely. Look at that. Swiss guards. I'm sorry, but we are going to invest in those Swiss guards. We've run out of money, but my word. That is going to give us some wonderful troops here. We've also got, still got, inv in, our infrastructure is prill, still pretty poor here as well. As you can see, we've got so much to do. We really do have a huge amount to do still. We're still fighting a major war here, and we're still trying to get our, our infrastructure up and our economy running. Unbelievable. And here, metal roads, we just don't have that infrastructure either, which usually we, one of the first things we do is get our infrastructure running, but right, we need to move this, this force out from Corsica. There's no point in having it here. It's just stuck here on an island doing nothing. So, we're actually going to bring it here. And we're going to... I think what we will do is land. Into there. And what do we have here? Well, that's one of our ships. For some reason, it's it has decided. Oh, look, they've been attacked there by Romalian rebels. Interesting indeed. Oh, look at that! And the the Russians have taken Moldovia here and Podolia. We're actually going to send this ship back to here for repair. Every single asset we have here counts. It really does. But we have to get these armies up looking some decent shape. These are not in good shape at all in terms of their composition. Poor composition. 
very poor composition here on our part. We have to sort of really reconfigure some of these forces here to make them look much, much more, more lean fighting machines here. But again, the battle here with the Dutch will prove pivotal. We're going to keep an eye on what's going on here. We mustn't neglect the New World either. Now that is at full strength army here. We've also got our fleet at full strength as well. We're holding these Caribbean redoubts but again let's keep an eye on what's going on here because this will prove if Austria overturned the Dutch then we could be fighting quite the resurgent Austrian army or we could be looking at a defeated Austrias, Austrians should I say with the Dutch on our doorstep which is not going to be good either but still it would be better than having the Austrians around we got 9406 why is that down any trade lines being hit? None at all. We've got a good amount of trade coming in. America is bringing in a good amount here from supply. We're exporting a huge amount here, especially to France. I mean, look at that. A massive amount of France. <coughs> and the Mughal Empire as well. But France has been our oldest export or importer um, and also our longest standing part trading partner. Right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens here, my friends. Let's keep an eye on what goes up here with the Dutch. Oh, well done, Britain. Well done. Britain is doing its duty here, keeping the trade lines open, operating clear of any interference. Here comes France. Looks like they're going to strike back against the Dutch. Oh, they've left Dresden wide open. Oh, oh, it's fallen. Dresden has fallen. We are seeing the, sp the steady... Russia and this is the key question my friends do we move in once we've got the composition of that army right there of our armies there do we send an army group into Vienna is that the key to unlocking what we need here in terms of taking the Austrians out utterly here and leaving the rest of the Austrian Empire to the Dutch because if we take Vienna we have a massive foothold in Central Europe here indeed on the brink of Eastern Europe as well so do we actually move in and take that out using the armies we have available there combining our sort of our the majority of our forces into us you know into a powerful strike group and moving in and striking against the the Austrians there in Vienna because if we do that it would be an absolute coup de grace even a coup de main Nothing silly from you now, Barbary States. Nothing silly from you, sir. Damn those pirates and all that they stand for. Nine six oh five. There. No sense of shame. And, oh, excellent. That's excellent to see that up and running here. But we have to indeed respond to the pirate problem and we have indeed that's more like it so again we keep this navy in absolutely tip top condition we do not allow it to fall into disrepair plus two morale in battles excellent Plantation costs could be lower here if we were to use that, but still, I think we'll have greater states here. I know we said we we're going to invest in the uh, in the economy, but still, in the army, which we will still do. Give us cottage, 450 here. Oh, look at that! We could actually invest in that there. We would increase that probably to over a thousand per turn. But no, we said we would invest in the army. This is what we're going to do. We're not going to deviate from that at all. 
and to that end to stick to that rule we've just imposed on ourselves we're actually going to cancel that there take that money back and it's going to be poured into our forces here now we should really get a military academy here in Spain I think so we're going to do let's start ramping up military production here now we've got this force here Great arsenal as well I think here as well now let's get that composition absolutely spot on here God, Cora says, uh, I think we've got two more slots here what do we have here we've got we can we have two cannon we can probably have one more Cora I think we have three cannon so we probably need an additional Cora here that's not going to be ready yet, is it? What about here? The infrastructure here is fine. Ooh, Swiss Regiment Airline Infantry. We do need to put some additional forces, but ideally we need Curaçaos in here as well. They fought bravely here, these militia, but we're actually going to pull them out. Put them here. Oh, we'll probably disband this demi cannon eventually. We'll also take out these two regiments of militia here. They should be look. They should be left here to look after Venice. <coughs> if if the council deems it worthy of us going to Vienna, if the council deems it, remember this is a council-led decision here. I am preparing the armies. If the council makes that recommendation, if not, then these armies will be diverted elsewhere. But if the council deems that we go for Vienna, that is what we should prepare these armies for. So remember, the preparation we're doing here is on the proviso that the Council agrees to what we're about to attempt here, which is a strike into Vienna and a capture it with the coup, the coup de grace. We might even get it with the coup de main. Now, so again, we need to remove, I think, probably these guerrillas as well. Although the guerrillas are very handy, we'll just put them in here for the meantime. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not going to see them ever again, but we just want to clear the ranks here a little bit. Make sure we've got everything here, that's been cleared as well, so we need probably two more Curaçaos here, and two more cannon, we might even, yes, we've got another regiment here of militia. So we're just streamlining these down here, we're just getting the composition of these right. And also the composition here must be right as well. Actually, this composition of this force is already pretty good here. We can, once we remove these two cannon here, uh, I'll put another cannon in and probably have a Curaçaos to, to go with these two regiments of horse. And we've got this force here then to guard Venice, which we won't put into Venice until we know what we're going to be doing here. Let's quickly just... Okay, nothing here at all, but look at that, the Dutch have taken Dresden, which is an absolute coup. And, oh my goodness me, they've actually left Prague open as well. If we could do this, if we could do this, it would be wonderful. Well, we've got 1,790 available to us. I think it'd probably be best if we do invest this money. Probably then in a wine estate, I think it's going to give us a better regional uh, wealth income here. As you can see, we're still waiting for a number of these to be still fully upgraded here. But we are on our way to looking a little bit in better condition here. Let's just get that repaired so we've got that available to us. We have put the military academy in production here as well probably need one here as well but again the, infra the infrastructure must be improved so we're going to invest in our economy with what we've got there 1055 coming in look at that look, look at the tax income then 12,000 now 20,000 army upkeep again we've got to try and keep pace here with our increase in our army up, up costs it really is vital we do that Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens. Let's have a quick look at how our research is going here. Still 14 turns for this. Population growth impact on farms. I reduce it. Oh, excellent. 
and this will actually open up quite a lot here steam pump drainage will give us a lot there we need to get iron mass and works to be able to open up these here that requires wealth of nations which is here we are focusing quite heavily here on our military because that's going to give us line infantry guards but grenadier guards oh magnificent right, let's end the turn there my friends let's see what happens here oh well done Britain well done sir and there as well excellent to see them keeping the trade lines clear and open and brisk for business France just checking us out here. Ooh. Where the blazes are they getting these forces from? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't do it, don't do it, Netherlands. Russia. Look at that Ottoman force there as well, that fleet just raiding those trade lines. Every single gold coin here counts. Oh, oh, that is a huge Swedish fleet there. That's a massive armada. Ooh. Looks like New Spain could be in trouble here. Or maybe not. Oh, Portugal is increasing its forces here. And they're increasing that trade line. Don't, we don't mind that at all. Looks like Bavaria is standing well back from the war there between the Dutch and the Austrians, probably in a wise decision. Barbary states. And what will the pirates decide to do now? Look at that, Barbary states are an absolute menace. 147 here. Oh, 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 look at this here. Oh, that's more like it, sir. That is more like it. Now we could increase. Oh, look at that. We've got a new trade line opened up here. Trade has jumped massively here. In fact, trade could be covering the cost of the army upkeep here at this rate. Two and a half thousand here will. Yeah, we've got to invest in our in our economy a bit here as well. Getting that true uh, infrastructure here. Oh, best we've got ten thousand. I think we probably best we get our infrastructure running as well here in the back in the homelands here. The infrastructure is good here. What's the trade here? That is a wonderful trade there. I think we're going to invest in the trade there. Oh, these mines! Look at that. One thousand years of regional wealth. Almost missed that. But we're going to get infrastructure running up here in the in Rome in Italy here. We cannot ignore it any further. Now, how is the composition going here? <sighs> Gentlemen, one more turn, we can get what, exactly what we need here. Why well, we need some more curacies? Here's the Corsairs there, so <clears throat> we shall just quickly remove these gentlemen from here. They are, shall we say, not a wild card, but not a part of our composition just yet. So what we do need here is two additional regiments of horse. I think that mobility will definitely pay off in the long run. And we're going to have two cannon. So we'll disband this cannon Preparados. Wait, we 
definitely need the infrastructure running up running here. Three thousand into there. We definitely need to get this going at great pace here. One thousand one hundred twenty-five. We'll get the vineyards moving here as well in Genoa here. One thousand one hundred thirty-nine available to us. Could we get an additional Corsair here? I think we probably can here. That's what we're going to do. So we've managed to increase our wealth here. We're really putting a huge amount of money, investing a massive amount of our income here is going back into the economy, which is the right thing to do. <clears throat> but ultimately we also need, oh look at that wine estates here, we have to definitely bring that wine estates here in Masala here, back up, and also here this great estates here to bring this up um, in Naples here. And also there as well, the wineries here will bring in 400 here from Corsica. So remember, we've still got a massive amount to do here. We've also got <coughs> these Swiss Guards here, which could actually be part of this army here if, it, if everything goes correctly. We don't really need these two cannons because eventually we're going to have the ability to put howitzers in here, which are really are brutal. But as you can see, the Austrians might be striking back here. What about the Polish? Why are the Polish suddenly moving into position here? The Poland at war. The Poland at war with Austria. Maybe they've seen the, the possibility to be able to strike here against the Austrians here and take Prague for themselves. Oh, the plot thickens, my friends. Now, if we get our comp if we get our armies right here. <clears throat> and in fact, for that, for ta -ta that end, we're actually going to move this force up here, ready. Because the, the council deems it correct, we are going to move in here, my friends. And we're going to move in and we're going to... Wait a minute, what the blazes are they doing here? Then we're going to move this army group in, we're going to strike and take Vienna for ourselves. If Prague falls, we're going for Vienna. That's a wonderful site. We really do have some fantastic armies here. We really do. But just not ready on that composition force yet. We're just a whisker away from getting what we need. Once we've done that, mark my words, my friends, we will be striking out with full, full power. But, my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, my friends, if you have enjoyed it, please keep your comments coming down below. Please let me know what you think here. And the vital question here, this is the question that the council needs to answer here. Do we strike for Vienna? Once we've got this composition of this army group ready, are we going to strike against Vienna? Are we going to push out? Remember, we've got this army here, stationed here. We could move in, take care of this army, and then move in to take Vienna. Because what we don't want to do is leave Venice unguarded, and then we'll have to go back again to deal with this force. So, if this force stays where it is, or if it comes for us, then so be it, we can deal with that as it comes. But if this force disappears somewhere else, do we then move and strike up for Vienna ourselves? They don't have much here. They have an army, an army group, an, an army, an army, or a, almost a full army here. Right, and that is, a, that is a fantastic army. It really is packed to the rafters with some elite infantry here. A lot of cavalry, a huge amount of cavalry, especially those lancers, the Ulans, which can be an absolute menace. But if we can punch our way through here, we could take Vienna and look at what we would gain from it. We would gain a tremendous amount. In terms, not only just economically, but strategically, it would put us on the verge of moving into almost Eastern Europe. But we'd have a, we would have a stake. We'd have a say in you know, what goes in Central Europe. But we'd have to be careful that we don't get outflanked here at all by any Austrian forces moving in. I believe that France is still happy with us. Indeed, we've got an alliance with them. They're very happy with us. Almost at 300 there, with the alliance with France. So we're okay there at the moment. Um, and are they still at war, France, with the? Dutch. No, they're not. So that is interesting indeed. But, my friends, that is for the council to say. Please keep your comments down below what we should do. If you decide, my friends, that that is the right thing to do, we will indeed be moving with all haste here to try and strike and take Vienna for ourselves and really put a buffer zone as well between what is coming because the Dutch storm is coming, my friends. The Dutch Empire is rising rapidly here. So we have to make sure that we have a stake, we have a claim on what happens in Europe here because we just can't be left on the fringes, on the outskirts. Let me know what you think, my friends. As always, thank you so much for all your wonderful support. It's been absolutely fantastic. Your comments have been exemplary as always. 
and I, lo I look forward to reading your comments every single time it's an absolute joy to read them and they really are whatever you do my friends please be safe please uh, you know be, be have a good time whatever you're doing and I hope you're having a, a, a good start to your week and a good you know good week coming up good weekend coming up but until next time my friends bye for now <laughs>